20 Heart Fire, Day 36 After getting the intercepted message safely back to Bert, he asked for time to decode it. I'm to return when I'm ready for the next step in my career with the toes. What the hell is going on? Bert just expelled me from the guild. He says I should read the proof of my treachery for myself in a scroll he gave me. The enemy has contacted me. I was slipped a note by the slave trader in Saran. The note lead me to a meeting with some jerk called Yubat. He wants me to prove myself by stealing a writ of execution made out in the name of his boss, who wants me in his gang. This will at least let me find out their leader's name. The writ is somewhere inside Oran Manor here in Saran. And so welcome back to the adventures of Shiaryu and our friends in this big morrowing world. I hope this time uh, the streaming settings are working a little better because yesterday I had some problems with uh, the microphone but it seems things are working better now anyway we are here in this Orlan Manor trying to go on with the quest of the Fighters Guild and we must steal some kind of document some writ like you just read from a journal and I think the writ could be inside this room and we have the first difficult task here because uh, I'm not sure about it but I think I changed the original mod adding that guard over there so it's very hard to uh, open this door for a low level character and Shiaru is not really a thief she's mostly a mage uh, so the only way we can open this door is with a powerful uh, scroll like uh, the, the, the cash lock splitter or with some uh, powerful magic or I think with uh, using the lock bashing mod but we need probably a lot of strength and a good weapon to be able to bash the door uh, I think I will try to bash the door, but it's hard to do something without being arrested or being expelled from some of the guilds, so something hard to do and that needs uh, preparation I think, so first thing first we need something to increase strength I think I have some amulet, some potions I can use so let's take a look at the bag of holding yep. one amulet of mighty blows what could do? that could do and uh, let's see we have potions like well, this is Kuma, but it's raining intelligence, so not good. And I uh, could try this one with or Cyrodelic Brandy. Uh, but Cyrodelic Brandy is not really good for strength, but, but willpower could help. Anyway. And now we need some powerful weapon. I think I will try and use the bound long sword. The bound long sword spell. And then we need a way to uh, avoid the guard attacking 
detecting Xiaoyu. And this is uh, something hard to do. Uh, we need 100% Chameleon, I think. So let's see. Uh, well, I say let's try um, first getting the weapon. So we look for a spell. Bow. Bow something spell. And I want to try the bow long sword. Okay, this spell should uh, keep on for uh, one minute. So let's see. Now we need very powerful chameleon effect. I have a powerful amulet, but it's hard to get um, to get. 100% chameleon. So first I will try to increase strength using these amulets on mighty blows. And then also some grief. Uh oh. We are drunk. Our agility is bad, but I hope my intelligence and willpower will do and now we try and use the amulet of shadows so we should have high chameleon it's not enough we need something more than 100 to be sure the guard will not see us and i'm not really sure it will work because uh, it depends on how the lock bashing mod is working. Anyway, let's try. This ring, Shadow Weaver ring, should get another 20% chameleon. We should be at 100%, but I think you need more to be completely sure so let's try this one and we are over 100 percent so let's cross fingers and try to bash this door our strength is very high so let's see what happens Ah, our crime has been reported, we have been expelled anyway, and I'm still unable to open this damn door, so even with the lock bashing mod, it's not really easy to do something like that, but out of curiosity, let's try and pump our Ranked even more. Damn door! <laughs> Not opening at all. Oh, maybe we need also some fatigue. That could be. I'm unable to open this door. The only way seems to be some powerful, some powerful scroll. So, no way. And we have a bounty, but what I don't like at all that is that we are no more part of some. I, I've seen a message you have been expelled from, from some great house, but I don't see. Ah, from the Imperial Legion, expelled. 
not good, so I will just <laughs> cheat and reload. But I wanted to try this thing because I was not sure about it. So to go on with the quest, I think here you need some powerful Ikesh Lock Splitter scroll or some magic things. A powerful spell, a powerful magic. And uh, well, we could try uh, learning some powerful uh, open spell or buy a scroll. And uh, maybe Shariu could be able to to use a powerful magic. Let's see how easy it is for her to cast a standard on the user's open door, which is able to open. most of the doors. I think this door needs at least 60 points of open spell. So Sharyu is now able to, to open this door I think with a 64% uh, to use the open standard open spell. So a powerful spell could be a hard to to cast but maybe taking some willpower potion and some intelligence potion could be something she is able to do so i think i will try and learn a, a more powerful open door spell or if if we are lucky we could find somewhere uh, a, a cash lock splitters scroll and buy it but they are not so common so I don't know let's see but to buy some powerful some powerful alteration spell maybe it's not easy here in Surround. So, well, let's take a look at the temple, but I think it's probably easier to to get this kind of, of spells from some mages guild. with some priest oh he's not selling anything he's not selling anything but we have some notices about this shrine of humility the fields of Kamu I could kill that guy. Those boots are ruined. Hmm. Interesting. She can uh, teach us uh, some more powerful spell if we already know uh, the open spell. So I think. I will try and buy a new spell. And it is uh, pricey, but we should have the money somewhere in our, in our bag of holding. Hmm. 
Yes. Okay, so... Mm, 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 mm. Well, let's see the spots first. So, I want to learn open spell for 60 points on touch. And it will cost about 600 uh, septings, but problem is spell chance is very low. Well, let's try it. And out of curiosity, what about adding a chameleon effect to the spell? Can I? Do I know the spell? I don't know the spell, so I cannot do something like this. And well, that's it. Boy. Oh, I have to name the spell. Right. So I will name my new personal um, personal spell with. A starting minus sign so it's easy to find it in the spell list and I will call it um, open 60 how original Okay, so we have this new spell. With, well, we should be able to cast it with a little help with willpower. So let's try again. Hello God, are you going to take a stroll? No. Uh, potion, 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 willpower potions. Crystal fatigue, always good. And uh, Fortify will power. Fortify strength will power. And strength. Oh, and here we have the limit of four potions, uh, thanks to the uh, MWSI UA mod by Nalkas Guide, I think, which is limiting the number of potions you can drink Oblivion style. So we have a problem. I don't know if we have enough strength to do this. 
But luckily we still have amulets we can use. Shot time. Right. And we need chameleon. Very hard. <laughs> Hello, Dino. Like a skate as some mods really making things harder, but I think there are a lot of mods doing this thing also by other autos because even the lock bash mod is uh, is giving uh, new possibilities for uh, characters not really uh, good at opening doors uh, but you need a lot of strength, so not easy. Ah, dunque, dunque. Let's see. The Amulet of Shadows. I don't know if I will have enough time to do this. Let's try. And we have Chameleon Ring. Mm. And there's also the um, rowing cut patch options, which is, I think, uh, putting uh, five seconds between each uh, enchanted things you can use. So it's still hard. Okay, so we have enough strength, maybe. We have. Enough chameleon, and maybe we can try summoning this weapon. Yeah, see, yeah, the delay about using enchanted items is from MCP option. Well, it, it's one of the things. Uh, I think it's very okay to have it because it, it's making things more interesting instead of having uh, a powerful enchantment that you can just click each second and kill everything. But it's not making things easy when you have to uh, use a lot of small enchantments to, to reach uh, a higher level like in this kind of, of magic you need to open a door with. I don't know <laughs> I, I will try and see if I'm able to open this door but not easy um, I need a bound weapon I will need a better weapon to bash the door because I have only. Why well, I'm not able to cast this? I have willpower. I have intelligence. But I have. As I think this is some kind of uh, bad effect from a mod because I should not have zero percent. To, to cast this thing and I will try and restore willpower but I think the mod uh, I'm using a mod uh, newer mod which is uh, calculating your chance to cast or resist magic but I think it's doing strange things in this case because I should have no problem casting Ah, now it's normal again, but I had to get some restore willpower to make it work. I think there's some kind of conflict with the Lua mod, which is uh, 
dynamically setting your willpower. Ne needs investigating. Anyway, let's try long sword. And yeah. Ooh, we need chameleon again. Where is my Ringo? Ring option Chameleon Ring. Oh, already. And I have another ring somewhere, but cannot find it. I just used it, but I don't remember the name. <laughs> it's not one of the chameleon rings. This is Mr. Oh, well, let's try this one. Okay, we should really do it at the first try because no way. <laughs> oh, it's too hard. And I don't think a simple invisibility will work because you need chameleon. Oh, shadow wave ring found it. Okay, so. I have a sword, but I'm not able to use it. <laughs> no way. I've been expelled, so this guard is a, some sort of super charged guard, and it's the guard is able. Not my thing, bashing, at least uh, with this guard around. Also, probably my strength was already already too low to bash this thing. So, I will try last time using the spell. And if it doesn't work, I <laughs> will just do something else and go on to the quest mode, uh, maybe in the future. So, let's try this. And one thing that I absolutely love uh, from the Lua mods is the one making the automatic saves from Night Cascade uh, because as in this uh, example I did not bother doing a normal save but I have a proper save uh, after having bought uh, the spell that has been done automatically by this mod and it's really something useful. The one thing I had the problem with that mod is that by default it's saving uh, each time you have a child a child change and this is not something uh, safe with more in, in my experience especially uh, also with the option to, to have a save <laughs> when you uh, end combat or start combat because oftentimes that kind of save if you do it immediately uh, are uh, broken you cannot 
really use them and so uh, I did tweak it a little to add a little delay before trying to save in this situation so for instance I have a cell change the mod is now waiting for five six seven uh, seconds and then you save when you are not in a situation where the game cannot be yet loaded properly or, or things like this and there's no option to change this uh, in the original mod and I did not add an option because it's something personal for now but uh, from my experience adding something like this a delay before saving in this occasion is working really much better so when you save uh, all these saves are useful even after I have set it to make automatic saves only after combat end after a little delay and when you change cell after a little delay and it's working perfectly so far so maybe in the future I will tell Nygoscade that uh, these things could be added uh, to the mod I think to make it better but problem is Nygoscade is investing uh, his uh, free modding time uh, perfecting the the engine so I think it's really better if he keeps doing this thing uh, until the, the um, extender is more stable because this is the most important thing uh, at the moment let the models do <laughs> the dirty work <laughs> and anyway uh, I will try last time using the spell because it's really something maybe that uh, doing with the low low level character I'm unable to do. Anyway, let's try. I could also try charming the guard and moving the guard from there, but maybe it's easier this way. So, uh, chameleon. Let's try again. Shadow Wave Ring. Amulet of Shadows. I'm learning the names after a few a few times. Okay, then we have Ring of of something. Chameleon Ring. We have enough chameleon in theory, and uh, this is the half things I need some potion, or maybe I could use some spell. I have this thing for intelligence, but I think I need willpower. So let's get some potion. Time, 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 time. Uh, not enough time. Uh, I should have done this thing before, but let's try again. And more willpower. Okay, so chameleon. Uh, yeah, no more. Enough chameleon. Really hard this thing. And shadow ring. And ring. Chameleon ring again. Come on. Okay. Now let's be sure to be hidden. In theory. 
crossing fingers, getting this open 60 point. Ah, crap! <laughs> I'm not able to cast this thing. Oh, because that's... That's a problem. I think that's really a mod conflict, because my probability of casting this is zero now. If I do some restore, uh, willpower, it will fix, but that's a problem with the mod, I think. The mod uh, by R0 is conflicting with something, I think. Because I'm unable to cast anything here until I use Sound Restore Willpower and then my chances are uh, fixed. So I will try in uh, in next next uh, time I, I try playing again I will try uh, disabling that mod and see if this is some kind of conflict but for now I should need to do this thing again <laughs> it's been really really hard because there are several things not going as expected but let's try for the last time shadow we bring I'm even curious about checking if this thing is possible or not and uh, we have the chameleon ring and the amulet of shadow enough changes for this okay now we have our willpower and we should be able to cast that spell wow we did it Woo! that's been really hard but it's a demonstration on how you have to do this thing if you are ma a mage and you are not able to bash the door and things like this uh, but yes I think there's some kind of conflict with some mods I think that mod is the one touching willpower so that's the first mod I will try and, and check for this or it could be some kind of problem with the bashing mod but I, I will try and see uh, what, what's the problem anyway finally I think Oh, I have also this thing to open, but lock complex, but I can do this thing. Uh, I need more magic, probably. I can do this thing without fear to being catched by, coked by the god. Wow, we did it. Oh, <laughs> and we found the honorable writ of execution for Mr. Raven Metclo. And this is the thing we were <coughs> going to, to find, I think. But we can get also this thing because we really deserve them after all this difficulty opening this door and we are also encumbered but this is something easy to fix with our powerful bag of holding and Okay. Oh, we could also loot this, this place. Uh, I also updated my uh, value weight mode. Um, now it should work 
better with other uh, tooltip mods uh, because it's looking for uh, the place where the standard value uh, line is and it's placing the value weight line right after the, the value the value line so other mods adding uh, for instance uh, descriptions of uh, ingredients and so on should work better have the value weight uh, in proper position these are things you can do because MWSI uh, is always improving adding things you can do better and so better get Nike Skate walking on it and well there's not much to get here so I think if I recall correctly I, I changed very little uh, here from the original 5 toss guild mod I probably added the guard there and moved uh, this uh, this table a little from here because it was conflicting and maybe I added the door <laughs> or the, the lock to the door so I did something odd even for myself to make the mod more interesting to play I think because the original mod I think getting this uh, Getting this read to wa was really e easy, the, too, too, too easy for making it a nice quest. Anyway, we have the read and we must talk with Ubat, I think, again. And I think I will drink a little Why she hire you is doing the same things Because I feel like I'm really casting all this path And let's go down hmm, I could also use my boots of blinding speed Luckily she are you is a Brighton girl so Oh not this way she is able to uh, resist the blinding magic and I think one of the uh, more interesting things about this boots is that in the original Morrowind before the Moroni cut patch these boots and the blinding effect was actually improving the player uh, the play, player uh, vision when, when you were try, trying to aim an enemy there was a bug in the code so uh, it was all reversed and this thing has been fixed by the Moroin code patch now blinding is really blinding you and if you try to use your sword while blinded it's really hard as it should be anyway here is Mr. Ubat so you got it huh? maybe the boss was right about you I'll take it and give it to the raven here's a few gold and so on there will be more to do I got the writ and gave it to you bat so their boss is called raven madclaw you bat says he is tough and smerite but with a name like that he sounds like a two-bit hood still 
somebody wants him dead seriously enough to pay the Morag Tong to eliminate him. Hmm. And now we must do something or we must go and kill Bart Sag Bottom. Near La Hood. Oh, he's no more near Sydney. But all they want as proof of his death is his amulet. I will then be accepted into the gang. I'm starting to realize that this enemy of ours is nothing but a bunch of thugs, and they are not all that smart either. Bert is supposed to be somewhere near Laod. The voice of my reverie is uh, is back after I think one more month. Till my uh, last last play on my own. I, I really tried yesterday to to do another streaming, but I had some problems <laughs> with the microphone. I think also uh, the streaming only went to to Twitch and not to YouTube. So uh, probably uh, it will be it will disappear from the internet in in a week or so on. But anyway, the voice is still working. And it's great for me, uh, mostly because it, it is uh, avoiding me to, to read the journal with my bad English and so I'm, I'm lazy, so <laughs> I don't like reading. I like more uh, playing around. Anyway, ooh, I need more. Ah, maybe she is hungry. No, not yet. But let's try and put some of these ingredients in the bag. Right, so we need to go to La Hode, which honestly I don't remember. I always make confusion between La Hode and other villages. I think it should be not far from Bagmora, but not sure. Oh, I always make confusion between Narmok and La Hode. La Hode is uh, not far from Bodmore. Well, another mod with the uh, Mills of Morrowind and uh, uh, another inn, the Sable Dragon Inn, is. So, to go there, mm, we could take a strider. Let's see. Why walk when you can ride? Uh, we can go to Balmora by Strider. Yes. Uh, I had Constance following, but I don't see her anymore. So for now, let's take a Strider and go. I will also remove my... Good so blinding screen so we can look at the nice view. Oh, here is uh, my friend Constance. And I fixed also her script problem. Uh, I had a problem with, with her not being able to, to follow while doing the scenic travel, but I think I fixed it for good this time because she is following as. Uh, expected, as you can see. And th the one thing I like about the script that it's placing the companion in a way that when you are, are in uh, in first point, 
uh, point of view, first person point of view. You, you, your companion is always at your back, so you can really enjoy the view uh, in any condition. And it works with also the MCA companion. And I know a lot of people don't like the Vurtu trees, uh, some of the wood trees in the Ascanian Isle because they are a kind of tree that probably Uh, the companion tried to follow, but they usually follow uh, well enough if they have, if they are able to cast some waterfall spell with the boats. But I have scripted the MCA companions, uh, Julian, Constance, and I think uh, Fli Flimdar, if I recall correctly, and maybe also another couple of companions so they really follow uh, while you are traveling this way and so I use this kind of companions usually uh, I think this these trees are a little strange the, the tall trees and I just love valley these trees uh, I think they give the atmosphere, the, um, the Sidanine atmosphere, a, little, a, a great touch. And over there we have Haldenshaw. I think they are great also because uh, they give uh, a lot of uh, shadows and so when you are under the Valitis trees you really have this contra contrast um, how can I say it? contrast uh, between the sun and the dark I really love it. Also, this is one of the most scenic houses I, I've seen so far near Sidani, the Xenarium Manor. And the, the rain, why? I think that's a bell rain particle I'm using. And over there we can see the the far coast of Tamiya rebuilt mainland. I'm really happy with the, my current settings for MGI XI, XI Distant Land because it's not really uh, needing a very powerful. Um, graphic card if you increase mostly uh, the landmass distance and keep your uh, statics and initial landers distance rendering distance not so not so far and re the result is great because you still see the mountains in the distance but you don't really need a uh, super powerful graphic card to get a good a good uh, result and we have the scenic uh, mill mod and the sable dragon in over there and we should not be far from Balmora
I could just jump down uh, here, but I think I will just uh, uh, go to Balmora. We are really, really near, so. Camel again. Maybe it's the rain. Oh, we are hungry. No idea. Uh, further restore health. Fatigue. No, I need some. Some food, maybe. That's strange because I don't think I have. Oh, maybe the money. Every now and then, uh, I feel like. I get some encumbering from nowhere, but probably it's the money or also if you are a little hungry, you're, you have some uh, burden effect. Let's see. Uh, Oh, it was the money. Most most of it was the money. Anyway, let's put some potions away. Amulet. <laughs> I'm always fighting with heavy things. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Okay, so let's take the ladder down. And I need some magica. Look at this, I just love this Oblivion style windows from the Stavrov guy mod. Yes. <laughs> Learn by serving, Layman. Do we have some money? Oh, yes. I can just. Outlander. 
given off. Uh, oh. Blessings upon your house, Sarah. So she are you most of the times is just uh, absorbing the magic from the uh, this kind uh, of uh, good effect that you get if you uh, if you give some money to the poor but all in all I like to, to give the offer anyway because she is also part of the temple uh, factions most of the times anyway we are here mostly to get some magic back so Oh, and she needs her boots. I think, well, all the next tries uh, I will do with uh, uh, the Lua uh, or only extender is a mod to to put back your your shoes, your uh, your boots when you <laughs> when you remove the boots from blind speed. Go ahead. Because I often forget to, to do this thing. And we have magic back. I could kill that so I can try to reach La Od from oh, Balmora. Constance is following so far. Okay, so What's your story? to reach La Ode from here. We could go by feet, it's not really a great distance. More or less this way. Stamina ring, fast enchantment. She you did, and is something really important with Morrowind. Is something you can use to restore your fatigue. Because it's the most important thing you need. from the Xenarian Manor mod you can take a boat to Sidon Hill I think from here I lost Constance
Hmm. I should also help her with her uncle, but her uncle has been kidnapped by powerful bandits and so not something easy to do at the moment. Or do we have anything to cook? Maybe some raw meat. Not sure. Some ash gem. No. And this is something I have added to the standard uh, necessities of Morrowind uh, campfires. So you can see what you are cooking. And I just love these little things uh, from the necessities of Morrowind mod. There. Oh, oh, I see bandits. Over there, you can see some mysterious uh, uh -oh. where is Constance? Oh, bandits over there. And I just love how the shit mode, the shitty mode, the scabbard mode is adding also the bound weapons on your back. There is no scabbard for the bound bow, but... I think in the future Things may change and we can have scabbards also for bomb weapons. Anyway, this is one thing added by another great mod, which is the zone mode. And I have tweaked the mod, so uh -oh. it, it's in a different in a different region, so it's not conflicting with Tamir Rebuild. But and I tweaked also uh, a 
some things like the constant music playing uh, but all in all I, I don't, didn't change a lot so in theory you can uh, find a way to travel to, to that place on this crashed kind of uh, time travel things uh, I don't know what what this thing could be could be uh, some space ship time travel thing but anyway from here you can reach this very scenic city and this mod the zoom mod is one of the unique rowing mods having a completely new uh, city to uh, tile set with the great graphics and it's something not, not so uh, well known but really great mod anyway we are here to reach loud maybe we will explore the, the zone mod of the future but for now I want to reach the old so looking for the main road. Not easy with all this grass. <laughs> I don't know, I re I read on Reddit a lot of people uh, not liking the, the grass that move when you stomp stomp it but uh, I just love it it's something unique uh oh no oh, no <laughs> Constance where are you when I need you oh crap we need some stamina more frustrating than being killed by a scream <laughs> and costumes disappear the game So we should be not far from loud. Let's go south. And here we are. So we must look for Mr. Segbottom. In theory to kill him, but I doubt uh, this, this will be something Shiaryu will do, but... Somewhere near loud. Do you need something? I'm looking for Mr. Bart Shark Bottom.
Nice day, don't you think? Ah, uh, did you hear about the smuggler ship that passed by here a week ago? So this is something from some different mode. I've met a wood elf who told me about some crates I'd find at a Didric shrine north of Laod. It seems a passing smuggler ship tossed them at a scam to scare it off. The elf says I might find something of value in the crates. And I think this is a classic mode. Uh, maybe adding some new little quests to Stana NPCs. I think this is Tales of La Ode, but not sure about it. But I must find where Bart is May I not far you? from Yes <laughs> here loud but it be <laughs> anywhere Oh uh, let's look for a shack something like this I'm hearing some s sounds, some non root sound, but one of the problem with Valitis trees is sometimes they are so big that sometimes the non roots are eaten by the big tree, so you, you cannot reach them but luckily there are a lot of green roots around added by the uh, I don't remember the name of the modder but that's a great mod adding green roots borrowing uh, Peter Beat probably is the modder And over there we can see uh, the moving Dwemer city. From uh -oh. from the uh, expedition to San Dwemer, name which I'm unable to to pronouns uh, but it's a great mod with we did the quest for uh, some time ago and the prize for the mod is this really strange dreamer dreamer uh, weapon which is a little clipping uh, because the the position is the, the crossbow one, but this is really giving you some inter interesting option to move around because you can just uh, use these weapons and teleport to the place you are, you are aiming to and it may be a way to have fun or even to escape some some danger when you have no uh, flying spells and so on and another great thing is another mod which is adding real uh, wave movement to boats and things and I just love it Is this foot going to crush someone? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this foot
Okay, so where could this bad sag bottom be? That that is uh, some kind of pirate a boat. So probably not the place we are looking for. And I see no houses around. Maybe we must look to the north. Try to the north. Well, hello there. Oh, now you. I understand. Uh, I think I am listening. Go ahead. Some setting to get the the Discord chat. Sag bottom B. Let's try to the north. There's a dead recruit over there. Greetings, greetings. Oh, I see you're wounded. How sad. Here he is, uh, Mr. Bad Bottom. I'm wounded. It's true. Time to get some healing. Are you son? I'm waiting for a contact, but what are you doing here, my friend? I should kill you. What? This unplanned meeting could prove dangerous. Give Bart a report on the situation. I don't want to kill him. I see. Well, I agree that they don't sound too much of a threat to life as we know it, but they have caused too much trouble, and so on. they assume I'm responsible for the Moracton contract, I'm not, but we cannot wait to see if it will be fulfilled, so, oh, we must eliminate Mr. Raven Mad Club. Here is the amulet they want and don't worry about them checking on you. By the time you get to Suran, I will have left and so we must go back to Suran. Show the amulet as proof we killed. I found Bird and of course he simply gave me the amulet to prove his death. I should now be accepted and get nearer to this raven character. Bird says not to underestimate him. I think my problem will be to kill him and get away without his gang killing me. No, not easy. 
Ah, uh, so we must get back to Surang and find a way to kill the boss. I think I have enabled this chat which is generic about for uh, a win modding <laughs> but I really don't know how to disable at the moment so I think I will just keep it anyway we need to go back to um, to run. So from here this way I'm not sure uh, the blind effect is really important for spell, but let us save and sorry. And this is the Flinda Shack, if I recall correctly, from the Expedition to Sanduemas Place mod. Expedition to Mzaltwa, which is that uh, moving to Emir City, which is not far from here. And it's a mod from which is coming this Dreamer Letterigrade Manipulator we just tried to use to move past higher place. Let's try again. As you can see, they are also very nice, very scenic uh, shadow effect when you use the weapon. Really a great mod. Oh, when you can hear the wind blowing because we are high on the... Mountain? Not so high, but... You get the idea. Anyway, let's go back to Surang. Actually, I want to try and use this weapon and see how far we can. Oh, sorry, not this one. How far we can go trying to reach other part. Oh, great! We just jumped this distance very nice i like it and from here we must reach huh? very far Oh, and we crash it. <laughs> so I think I will just stop here because my voice is really abandoning me. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.